Good morning, everyone, from Ravine Flyer 2. We are here in the station where we just took our first ever ride on the attraction. Actually, our reaction of the coaster is already up on YouTube, so please go check it out if you haven't seen it already. <laughs> Brief thoughts, that was your first time. Yeah, like I said in the video, it, it reminds me of like a baby voyage. Yeah. I, I love it, it's so good. It has like, it takes a lot of like the best parts of voyage and like puts it together in like a small little like beastie ride. Absolutely. I love it. So we've now experienced the attraction. Let's go for a walk. Just a leisurely stroll. See where the views take us. <laughs> that's that's the leisurely stroll. That's where we're going. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I got to climb the lift to a voyage. Now I climb a mini voyage. Not as much of a hike, but absolutely still stunning. Check out that wild bank turn over there. You can see that they did some recent retracking over there. And you can see the finale. How tall is this thing? Uh, about 85 feet. Oh wow. Wishing you were close to choose. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that breeze feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Holy crap. Wow. That is so cool. Hey, we're at the top of Ravine Flyer too. It's so pretty. This is awesome. This is beautiful. Yeah. Go to Lake Erie. We're so pretty. Lake Erie is also ginormous. We were at Cedar Point and it's like two and a half hours that way. <laughs> I can pretty much see it. You really? Yeah. And back down we go. About spot. to go through the infield of Ravine Flyer 2. Look at this already. Look how close you can get to the track. So this is all part of that retracking that the park just did. We are literally in Ravine Flyer. Like, that's the ride. Right there. And that's us. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> We're heading out of backstage of Ravine Flyer. That was that's pretty really cool. cool. Yeah. Huge thanks to everyone at Waldemere for helping us out here. I mean, this is a very cool uh, opportunity we had with, with what a climbing the lift. <laughs> I love this thing. This is, I mean, this is a great coaster. ride. Hybrid. What did you say? Hyper? hyper? Hybrid. Who even are you? I don't know. So if you've never been to Waldemere, this is a free to enter park. You can pay per attraction or you can do what we're doing and you get a wristband and that will get you on all the attractions here. I know I definitely want to do this sky ride. That looks like such a fun yeah, view. So fun. Yeah, this is a very uh, a charming kind of classic old tiny park. This is the line for where I, I'm assuming everyone's going to be getting their tickets for the day. You know what vibe I get? A little bit, like kind of like a like Lake Compound vibe. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. So since I last visited here, they did add a roller coaster. It's an SPF Visa called Whirlwind. You want to get on it? Yeah, later. I want to do the Wacky Shack first. Okay. This is one of the few amusement parks left that still has a Wacky Shack. And funny enough, I think the last Wacky Shack I did was actually the abandoned one at Joyland in Kansas that has since burned down. So uh, these are fun attractions and a true relic from the amusement industry. Ooh. I love a good wacky shack. Oh my god. Oh. It's like so close to your head. I know. Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. Sharks. That's scary. Mickey, what happened to you? Oh Look at this turn. Whoa. Banking. Laterals. Are you happy? Yeah. You cred? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. These things get crazy when your car is off balance, which is not what is happening right That's now. That's not happening right now. But it has in the past. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> oh, this is not that bad. It's fine. This might be my new number one. It, it could be. They have the trash cans. Storybook land. Efteling. Give hungry? kids the world. Do not give him a cookie. Oh, trash. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. What'd you get? Giant cookie? They're big. Pirate's Cove. I think this is like a fun house walkthrough. Something like you see at a very uh, like old time, like classic amusement park, especially like something on the shore. Whoa. Whoa. Why did I trip after this? Whoa. <laughs> Woo! It feels really good in here. Where is this? Is this the door? Shark! Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. Wow, look at this guy. 
Great. Oh, hi. Yeah, it was so fun. It's like Haunted Mansion with the heads, except like on a budget. Don't scare the crap out of these kids. Don't scare them. We've made it to Japan. I was about to say, fun fact, this is the longest roller coaster in the world. I know, yeah. Where's the 2000? It's just Steel Dragon. That's it. How was that? That was exciting. <laughs> did you enjoy the world's longest roller coaster? I did. It, it felt a little shorter than I thought it would be. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot less airtime. <laughs> so out here on Ravine Flyer, they have a bunch of stats talking about the ride, showing an aerial kind of design of the attraction, some of its features. Pretty awesome. Please keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times, but enjoy your ride on Ravine Flyer too. Another lap there on Ravine Flyer, our first ride since the morning when we were the only people on the train. That time it was a full train and it was paced a lot faster there oh, yeah. towards the end. Dude, it is such a difference between the front and the back on that drop though too. Yeah, like overall that is just a very well paced attraction. Uh, it flies the entire time. So I'm a, I'm a fan of this thing. I don't think I was given enough credit before, but th this ride's great. I love sky rides. They're, They're so, so fun. fun. Jinx. Not a cloud in the sky here, Waldemir. Down there is a little place they call the Potato Patch. Uh, kind of reminiscent of the Potato Patch at Kennywood. We're going to so, get that tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's true. We're <laughs> going to have to actually get that at Kennywood. Yay. There's Comet. It's the other wind roller coaster here at the park. Definitely a lot smaller than Ravine Flyer. Oh, look at the clock. Reminds me of Stranger Things. I hope it doesn't do the ding. It's like, oh, we're about to die. Hey, do you know the name of that kitty coaster over there? <coughs> Ravine Flyer 3. Yeah, that's right. Yay. So where's Ravine Flyer 1? No, that's 2. It was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it ain't. It was. Wow, that's a look. Why is your neck like that? I'm a giraffe, lady. Oh, I got really long legs. <laughs> What's up with this frog? That's not the right proportions. No, get your head out of there. Stop. Do something normal for once in your life. And that concludes our short little visit here to Waldemere. I mean, we're only here for a couple hours, and some of that was before the park even opened. But I mean, this is a cute little place. I'm, I'm glad I got the chance to go back here. It's been like five years. Yeah. And your first time. It's a cool place, right? It's very, it's very cute. It's very charming. Uh, I get like very like Tom Pouncey vibes. Yeah, like, and uh, when you eventually go to Knobles, it's the same, same, same sort of, of feeling. Yeah, a little bit. Although Knobles is almost kind of a one of a kind, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's a cool little place. I mean, Ravine Flyer is the reason why I think a lot of you watching this video are going to want to come here. Yeah. Um, and that's completely understandable. But if it's you are really looking, awesome. if you are looking to make more of a day out of it, they do have a pretty decent sized water park, uh, from what we saw. And I'm impressed at the amount of attractions that they, they have. have. a lot. The park is not that big, but they fit in. It's pretty packed with stuff. A lot of stuff, yeah. And it's free to enter, so it's a great location to go uh, if you're on a budget. I mean, you know, you could, if you want one ride on Ravine Flyer, you can pay five bucks and, and yeah. that's it. So, you know, I approve of this place. It's cool. I think they just need a standout steel coaster. Yeah, then you got like a one-two punch. More yeah, because right now it's Ravine Flyer and then there's a drop off. Everything else is a supporting lineup. So if they're able to get that, which, you know, I know they're kind of an independently run place. So, you know, I'm not sure if that's in their budget, but at some point I think that'd be really cool to see here. So, absolutely. and if they ever get that, you can for sure as heck bet we'll be back for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios and we'll see you next time.